Um, last week, both had some good throws, and then they both had some throws they probably would rather have back. But in the end, you know, I think experience kind of made that slight edge there um, for, with, with Gardner. And, you know, Hoback, you know, he's tough. He's athletic. He's got a quick release. He's done a really nice job tonight. See if he can punch this one in here. First and goal, the toss to Sincere McCormick. And he was met a lot by the Niners on a late flag through two. I think sometimes people don't realize, you know, you're, you're looking First at this roster. Defense, number 49. Ooh, that's the problem, that first down. You're looking at this roster, you're looking at these players, but there's also other teams here looking at these players in this roster, and you guys are also keeping your eyes open. I mean, you know, this is a, a crazy 48 it's a, it's hours a, here for you and for the rest of the staff. Yeah, it's a critical time. You know, uh, Champ Kelly, JoJo Wooden, Ben Chester, they kind of head up all of that of trying to know the whole league who could be released, who could be available for a trade, and then how they could help us. And it, it's a lot of work that goes into it. And it, it, it believe me, it starts way before this weekend. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be hitting it hard the next couple days and try and see what comes out that could help us. Um, we'll go from there. What's the one thing that you'd like to be able to strengthen? We just need depth. We just need depth on both sides of the ball, which I kind of knew that coming in. Up front? Um, up front would be nice. Just give away all of our tricks here, Matt. <laughs> that's, that's just great. <laughs> Love seeing Carter take control. This is great. It's been the chance to uh, observe all the guys trying to make the roster on the offensive line because none of the starters played. Yeah, they did a nice job throughout the preseason. Um, haven't given up too many pressures. Pass protected really well. Um, and really, you cannot have enough offensive linemen on your active roster and your practice squad. We'll keep as many as we possibly can for, as we go into the year. Um, but really, these guys done a really nice job throughout the preseason. Peterman going to the air. Oh, he's going to that one. Nice ball, too. A little bit on the high side, outside, but it was actually a good route. Got to hit him when they're open. Yep. Well, Tom, a lot of talk, too, to the offseason here because of the drafting of Brock Bowers about the tight ends, right? Michael Mayer and Brock Bowers, you know those guys are going to be here, and you assume one or two more, too, that are trying to make the roster. Yeah, I mean, that's, our, our office is kind of really could run through those guys. Um, you know, they're playmakers, both those guys, both both Bowers and, and, and Mayer. And, and we need those guys to step up to help our quarterbacks, you know, so that, that's going to help too. And Harrison Bryant, someone you signed before the draft from Cleveland. It's third and goal. Feels like four down territory, right? Preseason, a lot of Let's go. On both sides of the ball. And I, I loved how Antonio ran practice in training camp. I was tough. He was tough and physical, which I expected going in, which I loved. And, um, you know, we, we, we worked a lot of 11 on 11, yeah. you know, probably the most I've ever been around. Sorry. I was just going to ask, I said, uh, so you're around this team and you know it and you can see all the different pieces. And you also know where the numbers are and what you have to get to right yeah. now. And so you're looking at a couple different positions. How many positions? I'd say at least four or five. You know, it's uh, those position numbers. You're looking at a couple different positions. How many positions? I'd say at least four or five. You know, it's uh, those position numbers are are flexible, so it's not like hey, it's, it can only be five receivers. That's it could good be for six, you, right? You know, as far as the tight ends, it could be three, it could be four. You know, right. with safeties, it could be four or five. Corners, it could be five or six. So you kind of have to start maneuvering around and you know and. And then trying to play some strategy, too, because there's, there's going to be some guys that we want to keep that we may want to just put on the practice squad. So you just have to try and try and figure that out, too. But, uh, yeah, it, you have to be flexible with the numbers. We'll work on it the next couple of days and get it figured out. By the way, you said that team out west week one. Is that what we're officially going with? Like Ohio State calls Michigan, that team up north. Are I, we for now doing that, too? That just came out. I don't even know how that came out. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, we can put shirts that say TTOW. <laughs> Thanks for having me on. Appreciate it. Great first Appreciate season. it, Tom. Tom Thanks Zalesko in his yep. first season as general yep. manager of the Las Vegas Raiders. The final preseason fourth quarter coming up. What you can do the 2024 Raiders? You know, I asked you when we were doing pre-show prep and you had that graphic up because the guy, as you just said, career 62%. Is 70% realistic? It's probably, you know, there's, there's one or two guys maybe. Back in the day, it was, it, was, it was almost impossible. The rules have changed. The game has changed. But 62% isn't going to get it. The best guys in our business are up there around 67, 68, 69%. That, that makes a big difference. And I think that's an area of his game where he could be better. Carter Bradley hit as he throws. 
And wide of the mark looking for Britton Brown. Solid pressure from the Niners again. They don't really push the ball down the field that much. So you're talking about an intermediate yeah. to underneath game. And so that's why a 70 percent especially in this offense this 70 percent is doable. And that's the goal. You know and I you, you know you, you may not get it but if you're up there around 68 69 percent it's a lot better than what we've seen from him in the past at 62 percent. And I think you know ball security for a smaller quarterback that's going to be important. You're not trying to make every play a home run just taking what the defense gives you and being disciplined. Pressure in the face again. Evan Anderson the rookie out of Florida Atlantic has done that a lot tonight especially here in the second half so the Raiders will have to punt it away again you know, think about good offensive football it's discipline when it comes to the penalties and ball security you have to be a smart team and win the turnover battle each week AP has talked about that you can't win in this league until you learn how not to lose and that's really important and you, you lose Matt when you turn it over yeah understanding how not to lose right because there's a lot because what's going to what's going to happen you got places like Ohio State and Michigan and Alabama and LSU that that have the resources and you have other schools that simply don't have the money to do that it's going to be like uh, you know the New York Yankees in a big market with all the with all the payrolls and the big budgets playing a team in a small market it's not really fair all right, so this is the first time tonight that we saw this. Riz, you and I saw this last week about three times here. Remember, the NFL is trying out the virtual measurement system in some of the stadiums here in the preseason. It's not about where the ball was spotted, per se. The virtual measurement is just to see if, in fact, with the spot, if they have a first down without bringing the chains out. So if you haven't seen this, this is like in tennis, right? When someone challenges the call, the, line, the uh, chair umpire, Nobody has to worry whether he called in or out. It's just, ooh. Well, I think one of the worst challenges that coaches make is when you have a situation where third and one or fourth and goal situation. Well, let's take a look here. Hold on. This is what it looks like. Yep. And it's short. It's short. But where the, 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 you have a big scrum, and the line judge comes in to try and spot the ball, down. and you challenge the spot. You can't tell in a scrum where the right. ball is. Exactly. And you, you rarely see a situation like that where it's overturned. And I think this new technology may help some of those situations. Yeah. All the coaches want is, is to call. Came down the line. Iron Young, who had a sack tonight, too. And Antonio Pierce is taking a timeout. <laughs> Timeout. Las Vegas. Please put 48 on the game clock. 248. That's their first timeout of the half. And again, by the way, if you're just joining us and wondering one more time, that's Bill Vinovich. That was our referee earlier tonight. He came out in the first half and we were not alerted to this, but the NFL in certain preseason games around the league is removing the referee to kind of test out situations. So Todd Prukup, the back judge, has taken over tonight, making the announcements. They're down one referee, and they're testing that out in the preseason, too. He's done a nice job, yeah. Todd Prukup, because, you know, you have to get comfortable on the mic. You know, making the making the calls, explaining to the the fans and, and uh, obviously, the, the viewers at home what's going on, and, you know, you, trying to replace a guy like Bill Vinovich who's been at it a long, long time. He's one of the, the best in the business. That guy looked like an antenna. <laughs> Holy smokes. They got so much wire on him. It's ridiculous. Timeout. Out. Vegas takes the last timeout of the Las half. Las Vegas. Third and final timeout of the half. Please, one, four, six on the game clock. One, four, six. Well, we've seen this team again. Raiders lose to Minnesota on the last second field goal. Dallas comes in last week. See what happens here in the last 145. But again, all the buildup guys to week one going to Los Angeles to take on Jim Harbaugh and the Chargers. Yeah, and I think what we need to see the most is consistency from the, both the offensive line and the defensive front. You can see what the uh, Chargers have here with what they've redone to their uh, roster. I like the Joe Alt kid. I think that's a pretty good player. He's a, Dome, so I play with his brother John in Kansas City, and you look at the losses. Keenan now, and that's a big one. Yeah. Production there. Mike Williams struggled with with the the injuries, but uh, fourth down for the Niners to the end zone, and it's over the outstretched arms of the intended tight end, Mason Pline. 
Nice coverage by Jaquan Shepard. So the defense does get the ball back for Carter Bradley one last time. That's Matt's mantra as a player was anything but overtime in the preseason. <laughs> <laughs> Telling me. A great opportunity, tired. You can take your time back there. Niners bring a blitz. Near side, back shoulder. What a catch! Ramel Keaton, there were his feet inbounds. Yes, they were. Again, that bat shoulder throw has been very effective. On that right corner of the... What a nice throw. Yeah, Bradley's chucking it pretty good here. So we believe this will come back to the 40, and it'll be second down and 10. But like, to your point, though, Matt, like a... If, if the conversation in, in, has been in the preseason, Antonio Pierce has said he wants to see situational football and how his guys handle that response. Yeah, the left foot is up in the air. I mean, you've had that tonight in spades. Two-minute drill at the end of oh, the yeah. second quarter, drive to start the third quarter, and two-minute drill to try and win the game in the fourth. If they tie it. Rich will be mad. Rich will be no, Oh, I got nowhere to go, man. <laughs> I'm good, brother. I want to see some more football. <laughs> some more reps for these young guys. After rule, after look, after review, incomplete pass. There's Daniel Carlson. He is hit from 56 here in the preseason. Second down. He was three of three against the Vikings in the opening preseason game. 51, 51 seconds. Get a first down here, and you'll at least tie it. I think with 51 seconds, you got a chance to take a couple shots. Oh, yeah. Nice job handing the ball to the umpire so they can get it spotted quickly. That was really well done. We got to see this catch again. He stuck his right that was ball a out in the air. Hander, yeah. Four grabs for 76 yards. Most of those on this drive. There is no chance they would score. There is no overtime. In they free changed, season that. They changed that a couple of years ago. Matt and I were having, having some fun because. Matt's got a red eye. I want to make sure Matt gets that red eye. <laughs> <laughs> so Carlson boots it through. Stays perfect in the preseason. And I think that's what Antonio Pierce was just saying on the sideline. There's like, well, there's no overtime preseason. Yeah. <laughs> well, we saw some players really take advantage of some opportunities tonight. It's good to see. Obviously, Keaton making a couple big grabs down there. And oh, of course, you look at McAllister, who had the, the big punt return, and of course, the, the touchdown reception. Matthew Butler did some good things defensively. Mari Gaynor made a lot of plays. Yeah, Gaynor had another double digit tackle, or he had a double digit tackle night. 12 of them, two tackles for a loss. Chris Smith had an interception tonight. Raiders had four sacks tonight. Byron Young had one of those. Matthew Butler had one. Charles Snowden, two. So 16 seconds to go. The Niners do have three timeouts left. So again, with the new kickoff rules, remember, if you kick it into